Hello, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Candleford Cottage, the home of Candleford alpacas and Candleford honey. Today we're in the field and we're going to be talking all about pregnant alpacas. We're going to be answering some of the most googled questions and hopefully giving you a bit of an insight to the journey we've been through over the last 12 months to get this girl pregnant. So first up, if we're going to spend the next 10 minutes talking about her, it seems only right that we actually introduce the girl we're talking about. This girl on the left is Ambition. She's our oldest alpaca, she's around 13 years old. She's currently heavily pregnant and she's one of the first alpacas we got here at Candleford Alpacas. In the field with her, we've also got Morwenna and Nicole. So these currently are our three breeding females, but today we're gonna to be focusing on Ambition because she is the one that is actually pregnant and is hopefully due to give birth in the next week or two. Here she is a little bit closer, showing off that bump, which is fantastic news. We've had a couple of hiccups with the other girls this year, so it's really nice to see that growing. So first up, what do we call a pregnant alpaca? Female alpacas are called hembra or dames. The male, would be called the sire or the stud, if he's entire. And a castrated male would be called a weather. The baby alpaca, when it's born, will be called a creer. And at around a year's old, they're then known as tui. I'll put all the spelling of that in the, in the comments below. So ambition is our hembra. She's been pregnant for about a year now. Unfortunately, we don't know her exact due date because she didn't take on her early visits to see the stud male. So we've got a little bit of a window with what we're expecting. But when you're considering how long an alpaca is pregnant for, you should really work to 11 and a half months. So the second most Googled question is what does a pregnant alpaca look like? Well, kind of like that. So Ambition's a little bit older, um, so the shape of her body has changed a little bit. If it was a first time mum, you probably wouldn't see it quite as clearly. But if we walk around the side of her, what you'll start to see when we get around the back, is you can see a bit more of a bump on the bottom of her belly. And if she stands straight, the other way, obviously. Um, and what you can also see is there's a little bit of a difference in the amount of bump on the left and the right. And that's just to do with where the baby's currently sitting. And here she is. So as her pregnancy has progressed, where that bump is sitting has gradually moved. So she would have had a fairly normal belly to start with. But the closer she's getting to her due date, the further back that bump's moving. And you can see as the baby grows, same as in humans, pushes the organs, starts to sit to the side, and it will move back and get into position. So question number three, how long are alpacas pregnant for? So the figure that you'd normally work to is 11 and a half months, which is quite a long gestation period. But the problem is they're what's known as induced ovulators. So they may not get pregnant on the first time that they sit. So you'll then have seven and 14 day interval spit-offs and we have a separate video of that where you can check if she's pregnant and if she sits again you'll you'll let her get mated. Once you're certain though that she is pregnant you'll work to roughly 11 and a half months and give yourselves in terms of monitoring a couple of weeks either side of that just to be sure. So for these girls 
That means very soon they'll be going to see our stud male so that we can get our birthings for next year time to be in the summer. And the reason we want them to be in the summer, ideally a little bit earlier than this, is that means the career have got plenty of time to grow, to get their fleece, to get nice and strong before winter. Because we want them to be big and healthy before that happens. The fourth most Googled question on Google is can you shear a pregnant alpaca? Simple answer is yes. As long as you're aware and that your shearer is aware and that they handle them gently, it's definitely safer to shear them than it is to leave them in their full fleece. I'm here in our field in the middle of July on the hottest weekend of the year. You can see if you look closely that they're flaring their nostrils a little bit. Basically, they're really warm. Don't feel bad. They've got a shelter over there. They're just refusing to use it. But imagine she was still in full fleece. The risk of her having heat stroke or complications through being too hot are far greater than the risk of her being sheared whilst pregnant. The reason they're all queuing up is our younger girls are just the other side of the hedge and one of those is actually Ambition's daughter from last year. So they like to go and say hello from time to time. So the fifth most Googled question, what is a baby alpaca called? So we mentioned earlier, a baby alpaca will be called a Kriya and that's spelled C-R-I-A. And hopefully now that we're stood here, and she's got a bump pointing towards us a little bit. You can start to see just the shape of the career pushing on her tummy. So they were all the questions we were going to cover. We'll be writing a blog post to go alongside that and you'll find the link to that in the comments below. If you want to meet the career when it's born, check us out on Instagram or Facebook. Obviously, as soon as it arrives, we'll be posting photos galore. And if you've got any questions, then just drop us a message. Take care, and we'll see you soon. So bonus question for you. This one isn't on the Google list, but we thought it was interesting. How will we know when she's about to give birth? Okay, we can look, we can see what's happening with her bump. But there's a few other telltale signs that are something we're going to be looking out for very closely over the next few days. So when she stands and scratches herself, we can start and quite clearly see her teats. Now, alpacas don't get teats like you would see on a cow. They're still quite subtle, but you can definitely start to see a difference. You'll also notice the closer she gets, she'll start to hold her tail a little bit differently. And this is down to the way the muscles start to change, ready to be able to give birth. She's also going to start and take herself away from the herd a little bit more often, trying to find a nice place to give birth. And she, just before birthing, you'll notice she'll be humming a lot more. So this is to do with the hormones kicking in to say, the career is coming and she'll then start to hum to it. Now, Ambition isn't a very chatty animal, so when she starts humming regularly, it's really easy for us to know that something's different. But we'll be keeping a close eye on her, listening out for hums that are a little bit different to her normal grumpiness. And then hopefully we'll very, very soon be able to introduce you to the little one.